Hi everyone, it's Sean here. I'm with Lumi, of course. Uh, she's the only baby I have left. And if you notice, we are in a different location. We have made it to my mom's house, well, her condo. So I'm very, very happy. We'll be here the whole three months of the summer. And um, I might get a job or I might just work on some dolls that I uh, plan on selling. I, uh, I was thinking about getting a uh, boy doll while I was here in Charlotte, um, but I've decided that I am going to try to get one at Rose Doll Show, or at least commission a doll uh, there while I can see the artist's work in person, because that was the issue with my Tracy. I thought that the um, artist's work was better than it was, because in her pictures, it looks a lot better than it did in person. So by actually seeing the artist's work in person, um, yeah, so I, I know I won't be disappointed or as disappointed or as surprised by the quality of the work. But that's not what I want, wanted to talk, to talk about today. It's related to the doll show. It's actually about the doll show. So I, I guess this was a segue. And if you notice, my head's going to be cut off, but that's just because of where the camera is. Um, plus, I don't know. She's the main focus anyway, really. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to talk about how I'm affording, I'm being able to afford the Rose Doll Show as a college student um, with only a uh, work-study job right now. Um, so, I want to say that, first of all, I originally didn't think I was going to be able to afford it or... I was just scrambling trying to figure out how I was going to afford it because it is very expensive uh, coming from the East Coast to go to Utah. Um, but it turned out to not be as bad as I was expecting. Um, I'm quite intelligent, so I figured out ways to cut corners uh, to you know make it more affordable for me. And ways I've always saved a lot of money, so I have quite a bit of money saved up. It's mostly so that I can eventually get a car, but um, I still don't know how to drive, so we'll see about that, but, um, oh my gosh, yeah, so I have a lot of money saved up because I get refunds from my work study, um, I get, uh, money for birthday, from birthdays, Christmases, and then I also get money, obviously, from my job, so I save up, a, I, I have saved up quite a bit of money from that, and, um, I just keep that money, I'm really good with money, and the only time I really spend money is if I'm going to Walmart or I'm going to Dollar Tree for things that I can't get at my um, campus market with my meal plan money. Um, and if I want to treat myself, I'll go to like Subway. I don't really spend money, money, money. Uh, and the baby clothes that I do buy is uh, 25 cents. I've never bought anything full price. So that's another way I've been able to save a surplus of money. Um, and then another way, obviously, is I get dolls and then I fix them up or I make them better and then I resell them. That's a thing that I've been, uh, been doing, getting some extra money that way. And um, then again, like I said, um, this year, especially, I was able to get a surplus of money, some extra money from my Nana. She uh, actually helped me out. She gave me $200 for to pay for part of my uh, plane ticket. My plane ticket was only $350 round trip. So, uh, of course, it's basic economy. But it's only a four and a half hour flight out of Charlotte to Salt Lake City. So, honestly... I don't care about it being basic economy. I, I, I'm short anyway, so I don't need a lot of leg room anyway. Um, so yeah, my that's that's one big cost that I was worried about. In fact, I had started a GoFundMe at one point because I wasn't sure how I was going to afford the plane tickets. I thought they were going to be a lot more expensive, and I thought the hotel was going to boost the price up. Um, but yeah, so my plane tickets were 350 round trip, so I'll be flying in. Wednesday, July 10th, and leaving at like 1 a.m. on Sunday, July 14th, I think that is. Um, I, I, yeah, I think it's the 14th. Um, and then another way I saved money is I'm not staying at a hotel. <laughs> I originally wanted to look for a hotel because I thought that would be 
I thought that was the only option for for some reason. I thought it would make the most sense for some reason. Um, of course, it would be closer, but I am actually staring staying at an Airbnb with this really really nice lady, and um, she has really good reviews. She's super like vetted. Like she has um, all of her identification. She has submitted to Airbnb, so like government ID her. Her like social security, so she's safe. It's a very safe place to stay, and it's in um it's in this neighborhood that's near um the Davis uh con convention center. It's um it's I think it's only like three miles away. So either I'll be taking lifts or Ubers, or I will. She even said I could possibly borrow her, her bark her her ooh, sorry her bike to uh, bike to the con um convention center, which I probably won't do because I'll have her and she's nine pounds and she'll be strapped to my chest. And I don't think that would be very fun to bike with her in the like 100 degree heat. Um, so I won't probably do that, but Uber is not going to be very expensive. I'm guessing it'll be, plus I get all these discounts. I'm guessing it'll probably be like $5 per trip. And maybe I'll meet someone at the center who could even give me a ride back. Um, I don't know. But, so, I'm only spending, get this, $175 for four nights, and I get my own bed, like, I get a king-size bed, my own bedroom, I have access to, like, her kitchen and everything, and she's, um, gonna be cooking me breakfast, that's a part of it, like, she's a really nice lady. So, yeah, that's, that's the way I've been saving money and how I've been able to afford it. I'm running out of time on my camera. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Are you excited for Rose? Let me know in the comments below. I hope to see some of you guys there. Um, yeah, thank you guys. All right, see y'all.